Hello everyone and welcome back to my drawing channel. In this video, we're going to answer this question from Kira. I think I have problem with my drawing paper not smooth. How to draw really smooth, especially the skin tone with pencil. Thank you Amada, you're the best. Wow, thank you so much Kira for the question and the compliment. It is nearing Christmas guys. I'm not sure if I could post another video during Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everyone and wow, thank you so much. We already have 6,000 subscribers. You're all my hero. <laughs> so I'm gonna be showing you how you can draw a really nice smooth skin with just a minimal chip out supply. And unlike in the previous video, where I cheated a little bit by using willow charcoal. So in this video, Kira asked me to draw with pencil. And by pencil, I suppose it means graphite. So I'm gonna be using only graphite this time. But first, let's go ahead and sketch the drawing. And in the last video, I've shown you how to measure your drawing, how to draw more accurately with lines and simple shapes. So if you have trouble drawing accurately, make sure to check out my previous video. And after we sketch the drawing, we're going to simply add the dark value. And as you can see here, I use the hatching technique. This is so that the shading appears to be neater. When it's neat, it's easier to make it smooth later. Then if you just randomly draw scribbles or uneven shading. So being neat is important here. Also, I don't bother smoothing the shading here. This is just the beginning stage, and my goal here is to sketch and measure the drawing. And there are a couple tips I'd like to give you here. One is don't shade too dark at the beginning of your drawing stage. This is because the darker pencil is kind of harder to erase. As you can see here, I'm shading using my mechanical pencil. And this pencil is loaded with my 4B graphite. You can of course use 2B, 3B, but 5B plus is definitely too dark. At least for me. And two, don't press hard with your pencil. We definitely don't want to damage the paper here and indent the paper because when you press too hard with your pencil, sometimes it can leave a visible white mark that can be hard to remove. So after the sketch is done, now let's go ahead and render each facial features one by one. In this drawing here, I start from the eye. So the key to smooth drawing is that you need to draw using a sharp pencil. And here, you can see that I mainly use my mechanical pencil. Because with mechanical pencil, I don't need to sharpen my pencil. I go from here to here, only using mechanical pencil. After this, because the paper already has some graphite on it, then I simply brush it over like this to create a very smooth skin shading. The type of brush I like to use is a big round brush. Mine is number 8. And you don't have to use really expensive brushes at all. Just cheap paint brushes will do. Some people actually use makeup brushes, it also works, but I don't have a makeup brush, so just find the one that is quite fluffy and they work really well to blend some of the graphite onto your drawing. And once I'm happy with the light value, now I'm going to continue refining the eye using my mechanical pencil, darkening the eyebrow, fixing some lines, enhancing the eyeshadow, all with just one pencil. And now after everything is set, now I'm ready to commit and darken my dark value. This time I will be using my 8B Stedler pencil. And again the key here is a sharp pencil. Don't be lazy and sharpen your pencil often for a smoother shading. And now you can see that the value is much deeper. But now let's go ahead and use my small brush to really push the graphite onto the paper grain. This will enhance the value and make it darker. And because I'm pushing the graphite onto the paper grain, now the graphite is evenly distributed and makes the drawing look smoother. And once I'm happy with my dark value, now it's just a matter of fixing and improving things until it looks perfect. So I really work in smaller steps here, step by step. I don't try to rush things and try to darken everything at once right off the bat, but I gradually add more and more graphite and more layers until it looks smooth. Now let's take a look at the other eye, and as you can see, that I am working in quite a similar way as before. I first refine my sketch using my mechanical pencil as best as I can, and then I darken the value using my 8B pencil, then using the brush to soften everything. 
you don't need to follow the exact same route, but it's just my workflow and the general idea of how I draw. So how about the nose and the mouth? Well you guessed it, it's exactly the same technique. Well sometimes I blend after I've done the shading, or sometimes even before I'm shading, but the idea is the same. Build the layers gradually from light to dark value. Using your mechanical pencil and enhancing the dark using the 8B. So you see, that I only use two types of pencil here. That's because I don't want to overcomplicate things. I believe the viewer tools you use, the more efficient you will be. And I really encourage you to draw using just a few pencils, especially for beginners. And trust me, you learn so much more about shading when you use only a few pencils like this. And now it's time to render the skin tone. For the skin, I prefer to darken the area around it first. The hair area near this area is actually quite dark, and this will help me to compare the value. If I don't have a value comparison of my darkest dark, I find that I tend to make the skin too light. So if it's too light, then at the end of the drawing session, I need to go back and darken it again. And it's just a waste of time going back and forth. So I find that this strategy works better. And then the skin itself, I will use my mechanical pencil, which of course is loaded with 4B, and only if I find that the shading is too light, and I can't darken it with 4B, and then I will switch to my 8B, and slowly darken it even more. And now with the left cheek done, it's time to improve it and blend the graphite, using the brushes, fixing the imperfections using the sharp pencil, and because the other cheek is more lit, it's of course lighter, so I'm not gonna be using my pencil anymore and just brush off the graphite to create a super soft, faint light value. Don't get too crazy here, because we want the other side of the face dark and this side is light. So the face is done, now comes the most challenging part. Here comes the hair. So the idea is actually the same. So I sketch the hair first and to make the hair neat, I try to sketch and separate the hair by groups. Then I build up the layers, slowly darken it using my pencil and make the value soft with my brush. The only challenge is that hair has its own texture. And it's not a random texture, it has a certain direction you have to follow in order to make it look smooth, neat and flowy. Actually, I'm still planning to create a specific video about drawing hair in the future, as this is a very different subject, which can have a very different approach. And in this drawing here, I'm kinda still trying to find out what I'm going to say for the hair tutorial. And I'm trying different things, different approaches, see which works the best for the tutorial. But don't worry guys, if I have a lot of requests on this subject, then I'll try to make the tutorial soon. So don't forget to subscribe. Because honestly, I kinda prefer you pay to watch my video, but I know that I'm super kind. I don't want to be mean to you. So, you guys pay me by subscribing. <laughs> but the idea here is generally the same, guys. Once I sketch the hair, the direction of the hair, the grouping, then I use my small brush to create my mid value. I kind of prefer using my small brush here because it's stiffer than my big brush, so I can create darker value easier. And once the mid value is established, then I'll darken the dark value and enhance the highlight using my Tombow Mono Zero razor. Using a brush like this, I think is the most efficient way to really create a smooth shading. I'm just smearing and blending the graphite around and filling in all of the white areas and it just creates such a really nice smooth even shading. It looks so satisfying when you get it right. And this technique, combined with the Tombow Mono Zero, can really make drawing the hair feel easier. However, if you don't have Tombow Mono Zero, then it's totally doable. You just need to cut your rubber eraser to a smaller shape, and you can definitely get the same effect like this. However, it'll take longer and feel harder, but it's absolutely doable, because I've been doing it even before I knew Tombow Mono Zero eraser existed. The rest of the drawing, the clothing, the background, in terms of getting a smooth shading, I used the exact same technique, building up the dark layers and using the brush to blend the graphite. But sometimes it needs more than that. Sometimes the brush 
won't be enough to make it smooth. So don't just rely solely on your blending tools. After blending, try to check whether you have uneven spots and try to fix this by manually juggling it with your pencil to match it with the surrounding area. The tip of your pencil is smaller than the brush, so it's naturally more accurate than your brush. I find that if you do this, the drawing will appear much smoother and more refined. I'd say it's more like 30% shading, 30% blending, then you make smaller adjustments, 15% shading, 15% blending, and if you want to be even more precise, 5% shading, 5% blending. I hope you're not confused. Sometimes I have a weird way of splitting things. <laughs> so basically, you make a smaller and smaller adjustment each time. And for the paper, I get this question a lot, guys. I'm using Canson 1557 drawing paper, 180 GSM. I used to use Canson one for watercolor paper, but that one is built for watercoloring, so the paper has a rougher texture. For me, I don't really care about whether it's textured or not. The paper texture will just create a different look, as your final drawing will look textured. But by using the same technique I mentioned in this video, using brushes and building up the layers, using super sharp pencil, you can definitely draw just as smooth as when you're drawing on a less textured paper. And I don't really like drawing on super smooth paper, especially hot pressed paper. The Canson 15 Physics 7 is just the perfect paper for me. It has no visible texture, but since it's cold pressed, it has some rough paper grain, and that's perfect for my drawing technique. Well, I think that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much, Kira, for the question. I hope this video helps improve your drawing technique. Let me know if you have further questions. And guys, don't forget to subscribe, guys. I need to eat too. I'm a skinny guy, would like to add some meat here. So subscribe to my channel, comment, like, share, so I can buy some meat. <laughs> so enjoy the rest of the drawing in peace, and once again, Merry Christmas to everyone, and blessings to you.